To begin, navigate to Clovis Unified's website, cusd.com. Choose Parents, Parent Connection, and then click Parent Connection. Once you're here, if you need your PIN and password emailed to you, click Need My Password and enter the email address we have on file. If not, go ahead and enter your PIN and password, then choose Annual Information Update in the top right corner. Once here, you're going to notice that there are two steps in the Annual Information Update. Begin by clicking on Step 1. Once here, begin by reviewing all information provided. Change any information as needed. If you wish to reorder items, you simply click the arrow icons and drag them into the correct order. You can do this anywhere you see these two arrow icons. Also, be sure to choose the correct phone type. Once that's done, select the box to acknowledge agreement and then click on Submit. Once you click Submit, you notice it checks off what you've completed and advances you to the next item. Look it over for accuracy, leave any notes, click to acknowledge the information is correct, and then choose Submit. Throughout this process, all blue fields are mandatory. On this question, please make sure you count every person that lives in your home, and then choose your income. Be sure to check the guidelines provided to see if your student qualifies for free and reduced lunch. If you feel your income meets the free reduced lunch guidelines, click here and complete the online application. Then be sure to close that application and return here to complete the annual information update. Select the box to a knowledge agreement and then choose Submit. Once here, enter your initials, click Submit. You have now completed Step 1 of the Annual Information Update. Once you return to this page, you will notice there is a Step 2 for every student you have enrolled in Clovis Unified. Select Step 2 and continue the process of reviewing the information provided. Be sure to select the box to acknowledge agreement and then choose Submit. You'll notice the double arrows on this page which will allow you to reorder items. Please be sure anything in a yellow field is accurate and completely filled out. If you need to add additional contacts, click Add Additional Contacts at the bottom. To delete, just click on the X, Acknowledge Agreement, and click Submit. Please remember all blue fields are mandatory. If your child has no health changes, select this box. Otherwise, you may add any additional items. Also, be sure to select these boxes acknowledging all of the information provided. Be sure to initial. Select the box to acknowledge agreement and choose submit. Be sure to select all of the acknowledgement boxes on this page. If you would like to download the information provided, click on any of the blue links. Be sure all blue fields are completed. Initial, check the acknowledgement box, and click on submit. Select the acknowledgement box. If you would like to read the release of pupil information, click the blue link provided. Choose your release option. If you choose limited release, select those items that you do not authorize to be released for your student. Be sure to initial, select acknowledgement, and submit. 
If your student attends Kasner or the Reagan Educational Center, you will see an additional page in your annual information update. Please be sure all blue fields are completed. This page is initialed. You've clicked Acknowledgement and Submitted. On this last page, type your full name, select Acknowledgement, and click Submit. To check completion, click the back button, select your student, click Annual Update Status, and under Status, it will say Complete. Thank you for taking time to complete your annual information update.